Good evening, Kyle here. Wishing you all a very Merry Christmas and I hope you guys are getting all stoked. Getting those presents ready. And I know you're all doing a lot of baking. <laughs> you're right, eh? But uh, yeah, no, I'm pretty stoked about Christmas and I hope you guys are pretty stoked too because it's, you know, right around the corner and I had to say that. Anyway, so here we are. I'm playing with my little 555 timed oscillator uh, inverter and I had been trying to find a circuit and I played with this concept on my own and the main reason why I wanted to is because this circuit allows you to use just about any old transformer that you dig up uh, that has two in two out uh, which are a lot more common than uh, a center tap and for me we don't have Radio Shack in Canada center tap transformer sure I can go and buy a good Hammond but you know boom there's 16 bucks whereas this you can make this circuit out of garbage. No problem. I'm sure Slider will enjoy that too. Um, not that you work with garbage Slider, just that you work so well with garbage. <laughs> okay. Um, anyway, here we have it. The little 555 time circuit. Now, I played around with this forever, but the thing I didn't understand was the filtering. And then I found a circuit online. And, you know, isn't the internet like that? So here's a neat little circuit. Okay. And uh, let's see if I can get that all in there. Leave that be for a moment. And that is the filtering that I'm talking about. Right there. And that was the missing piece of the puzzle. And as you can see, it's just a standard transformer on your output. Your Darlington pair. And I had everything figured out, but not that filtering. So here's the address for it. www.centex.net forward slash tilde MEC1995 forward slash CIRC forward slash 555 DCAC dot HTML. Cool little circuit. Lots of fun to play with. Now, what I'm doing right now is I got a couple of one waters in parallel running and I'm probably just below 60 Hertz although I haven't plugged this one into the scope but you have your little pot over here that you can play with your frequency with and as you can see there's a bit of flickering in the camera but as I dial that up that may or may not go away I don't know it may also just be because of the darkness okay so here's a couple of cool aspects of this circuit now when I plugged it in and I had it running right around 60 Hertz um, I found that with my particular setup okay I I had a problem in that when I used the 2700 microfarad uh, capacitor over here now you can see I dialed that that frequency right down to about 55 60 Hertz or so and you can see that you're getting that uh, constructive uh, wave interference between or whatever you would call it between the video camera frame speed and the uh, and the and the actual Hertz of the light uh, anyway this 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 electrolytic which is um, that one right there now it says 2700 microfarad. I started with the 3300 microfarad. When I did, I was running at 80 milliamps. Okay? Now, though, as I understand it, anyways, and correct me if I'm wrong, what you're doing here is you're filtering the output to approximate a sine wave so that you get the ability to step up with an AC transformer. So when I. I went from that 3300, I think it was, yeah, 3300 ran me at about 80 milliamps. Okay, now, now I'm running instead a 470 microfarad 25 volt um, electrolytic, and with the same, without touching the frequency, that bumped me up to a hundred milliamp draw but better light so that I could I could run two 
Okay, so you can see I got two in parallel. Now here's where it gets cool. I changed my pot so that I have a, a larger frequency control, right? Now, here's the general light. Let's see if I can sort of, I'll even turn off the monitor for a sec. So you can, this, is, this is the general light available. Now, you can see what's going on. I'm gonna move this uh, into your view as well. So you get both of those guys. Okay, now watch what happens. Now, they say to have, I think, a 10K pot, but I've got way bigger pot on there. I'm not even sure what it is, probably 50 or 100. Okay, now I'm gonna go crazy with dialing this uh, pot back. Now, you tell me if the light changes. I don't think it does. I'm increasing the frequency mega, is what I'm doing here. There's no perceived difference in the light, but look at what happened to the amp draw. Now I'm down to 70 milliamps, and if anything, okay, the uh, light is nicer because it's no longer flickering. You can see in the video it's it's just a okay now. Very little heat, if almost no discernible heat off the darling pair and um, with a little bit of room to go I mean like I said the the circuit said 2700 microfarad I started off with 33 now I'm at 470 so obviously there's some range if I wanted to pump out more light you know maybe I could drop in a uh, I could drop in a uh, 250 microfarad, 15, something like that, right? And see what that did. That, that will probably increase my draw. And then we can work with pushing the limit up to uh, on the on the frequency too, because I mean this thing was set up right to to be a 50 hertz, you know, status quo inverter. But there's lots of room to play with that. Um, one of my ideas is I've got some really cool little transformers that I salvage that are um, switching mode power supply transformers, ferrites, much smaller than these big guys. Whether I can get them ringing, I don't know. Um, you know, I don't know. I, I, hard to say because this might not be able to go into the frequency ranges that you need to. But I'm going to try it. You know, I'm going to try it. And, um, you know, it's a fun circuit to play with. If you're at my level, it's fun. And um, so I know it strayed pretty hard from the from the jewel ringer concept. I sort of distanced myself. But I love this circuit because I can pick up in 90% of the transformers that I get my hands on for free. I can use so I hope you enjoyed that go to the go to the site build it it's it's dirt cheap to build easy to build and it's a really pretty good little circuit I mean there you have it you're 13 volts 70 milliamps and uh, you know some pretty good light some pretty good light probably more light than if I was to take those AC bulbs and plug them into a 30 watt you know, like you can only buy so small of an inverter for AC power. Uh, Twenty or thirty dollar inverter is going to run you like seventy watt inverter. Hell, it probably as soon as you switch the thing on, it's probably eating up forty milliamps. So, anyway, I thought it was pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed it. Take it easy, and like I said, have an awesome Christmas, you guys. Merry Christmas.